Good evening everyone and welcome to Rainamo's DIY and It Designs. And today we are going to show you how to beautify a sterno rack. Now I know what you might be thinking, Raina, why would you want to beautify a sterno rack? It's just to be thrown away. That's true, but it's for my wedding and I want it to look nice. So if this sounds like a tutorial that would interest you, please keep on watching. Okay, so this is the actual collapsible sterno rack that I'm going to be using. Um, I know that these can be found in a lot of different places. These I actually got from good old fashioned Walmart. And so I'm going to be using one of these racks. I'm also going to be using this particular metal wire that I got off of online. I'm going to be using epoxy. I might be using my hot glue gun just to help hold it in place and these particular clips that I got off of Amazon. So, all I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this particular sterno rack together. And since it's collapsible, you have to raise the arms in order to keep it so that it's sturdy when you actually put your pans in it. And down here is where you would the cans of fuel would go. Now I know you might be thinking, are you sure you wanna use hot glue since this will be hot if you use this with the actual sterno fuel cans? And the answer is yes, because it'll only be a daub of hot glue just to help hold it while I go ahead and I work around the perimeter of the particular rack. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this particular wire. I'm going to measure around just to where the handles are on each side and I'm going to use my new tin snips that I got um, off of Amazon because they didn't have them at Harbor Freight. I'm gonna use those to go ahead and cut the wire. When we come back, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so I have taken the ribbon and I've cut it into two equal pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start affixing the ribbon onto the rack. And so what I'm gonna do is just kind of bend it and shape it the way that I want. And I'm gonna hold it into place with these clamps that I picked up online at uh, Amazon. It's a little tricky. Well, this might not work. So this will be where I actually use the hot glue gun then. Um, and I have that here. I'm just gonna put a little dab of hot glue. I don't wanna use lots of it because that's not what we're gonna be using to hold this into place. I'm actually gonna be using epoxy, but just to get going, I'll put the hot glue there just so that it can hold. Here guys, I'm basically gonna do a voiceover to let you know that I just used a little bit of hot glue to get it started and adhered to the fixture, the rack so that once I mix up the epoxy, I can go ahead and apply the epoxy and clip it so that it can hold. And I actually am going to use small banker's clips. Um, the problem is I'm only going to be able to get the epoxy done on one side. The other side I'm going to have to use... Um, the fix-all glue which is like E6000 that you get from the Dollar Tree because the epoxy sets so fast and I didn't have any extra epo epoxy in the house but here you just see I'm kinda helping shape and mold the ribbon around by using the hot glue just to hold it in place then I will fix it permanently with the epoxy and then I'll move to the other side where I'll actually have to use the glue that I was telling you about. You can use either E6000 or you can use the fix-all glue but they work the same as you'll see further along in the video. So now I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue in a couple of spots just to help hold it and you're more than welcome to do the same. Some people I notice on some of their videos they will use both E6000 um, e and hot glue well I'm not going to do that I'm actually going to remove the hot glue because I don't want that with the uh, epoxy or with the uh, fix all glue that I'm going to be using
Here I'm just making the last step, making sure that it's adhered and explaining to you how I am going to decorate. And when we come back, I'll show you what the next step looks like. So next, while the epoxy is drying and setting, I'm going to be using these acrylic beads to loop through the hearts that we have on the side of the vessel. And I think I'm probably going to do like five to seven. Yeah, I'll probably be doing seven beads, seven crystals to each one. So when I come back, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, everyone, so after you have glued all of your ribbon around your uh, collapsible rack, and you've let that set overnight, because that's what I actually did, um, hot glue obviously doesn't work. You wouldn't want to use hot glue. Epoxy works, but you have to work fast. Or you can use good old-fashioned Fix all from the Dollar Tree, which is what I've done with this one. Um, and because my epoxy just it um, it set so fast, I was only able to do one side with epoxy, and the other side I did with the fix all, and it's it's very stable, so it's not going anywhere. And then I use these little bitty banker clips in order to uh, secure it here and hold it and let it cure overnight. So once you've removed this, you have a decision you have to make. You have to decide, do I want to leave this ribbon the same color that it is, which does blend very well with the color of the rack? Do I want to spray paint it a nice chrome color? Do I want to spray paint it a nice gold color? Whatever you want. And truth be told, I'm probably gonna be making several of these. Some of them are going to be gold and some of them are going to be the same here, the silver. I don't really want to paint it a color, like a chrome color that will match with the, um, the color of the actual rack. Cause I don't know if you can see that it kind of has a bluey silver tone and the reason for that is once you put your sternos in here and it actually starts to burn it will discolor these racks over time so I want to leave the nice patina that's on this particular ribbon on the ribbon so the next step is to decorate and what I'm going to do like I said was I'm going to take these crystals and I've counted seven actually six of them and I'm going to go ahead and in these individual hearts, every other heart, I'm going to go ahead and just affix the, um, the O-rings with the crystals to it. And it's really easy. I hope you can see that I'm gonna position it. It's gonna look kind of weird, but starting here at that first heart, I'm just gonna slide it up and through and it's just that quick and just that easy. Now you can decide if you want your o, your crystal links to be longer or shorter. Um, I think between six to seven beads is perfect. Um, I'm gonna do both sizes, but the reason that I'm doing six beads on this one is because I actually want to possibly put a pendant on here if my pendants come in from Amazon uh, in the next couple of days and when I take my thumbnail picture you guys will see that if not then you will know that it didn't come in when I I post this um, this tutorial and that's the reason why um, I just have six instead of seven okay so I'm just gonna go around as you can see it is really really easy it just slides on and then you just guide the little o-ring through the heart and that's it it's just that simple real quick and easy but it does take a little bit of time so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish this off camera and when I come back I'll give you the final reveal Okay, everyone, are you ready for the final reveal? Here it goes. I want you to think about using a disposable pan with your regularly scheduled sterno rack and then have it look magnificent 
like this. I mean, look how beautiful that is. That is a beautiful display if I have ever seen one. Excuse the background, but I just wanted to be able to show you guys what it would actually look like. Now here on the sides, obviously, there's no ribbon here and there's no crystal. And the reason for that is you need to be able to move this around and transport it without anything in your way. So I've only included it here on the sides. And here I wanted to show you how it still collapses and it's easy to transport wherever it is that your venue is. So I wanted to make sure that you guys got to see it fully collapse and as well as see it in its total, total beauty. I mean, it is so pretty. And just to think, it only takes a little bit of thinking outside the box and a little bit of crafting ingenuity to make something that's so plain and that's gonna basically go in the trash unless you entertain often and you would wanna keep it. Actually, now the way it looks, we will be keeping it, but normally, these sternal racks that are collapsible are ones that would be discarded and you wouldn't even look back on it. But for a wedding, this would definitely dress it up and make it very, very fancy, especially if you don't have the, the nicer or more expensive shaping dishes and setup systems for entertaining. So if you like this particular tutorial, please, give us a thumbs up. I want you to share this video. Share it, share it, share it, because it really is something that everybody who has ever entertained can use. I know that they would enjoy it as well because it really, really is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. If you haven't subscribed to our Humble channel, please subscribe. Baby girl gives it her A-OK. -okay. <laughs> And definitely, definitely leave a comment down below. Again, I just wanna pan over and show you that it collapses completely. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space as it collapses, and you don't have to worry about it really messing up any of the crystals. If you're worried about that, you could also put it down with some bubble wrap. But everyone, please have an absolutely wonderful evening. Bye. Bye, baby girl.